Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to safely check Bitly links. Now, Bitly links is a service that shortens long web addresses. So you can post them in a Twitter or a Facebook, because if you only have so many characters, you want to shrink it down. Plus, it's um, they get really long, especially if you're on Amazon. Amazon has these longest web addresses. This will shorten it down. So sometimes you might see that like on Twitter, like I said, and Facebook. Sometimes you get them in emails. Well, you want to make sure they're safe to go to. If you don't trust them, you don't want to go to them. That's, that's, that's the first rule. But what I'm going to show you how to do is check those links without having to go to them directly. So the first thing you want to do is find a bit.ly link you want to copy over. So we're going to go to Facebook where I found one. It's right here. And just highlight the bit.ly part. Don't highlight the HTTPS dot dot slash slash. You just want to do this part. And then you, after you highlight it, you want to right click on it and then copy it. Don't copy link address, just hit copy. And then once you do that, you want to go to another tab. And then I'm going to go here and at the top in the web address bar right up here, you want to put that in there. So you're going to paste it in there. Now I just paste it in and now we want to add, this is the trick, you want to add the plus sign in there. So hold down your shift key and hit the equal plus sign. And that will make a plus, and then you hit enter. And then once you do that, you'll get this screen. And this is from Bitly. And then we'll show you um, who the company is you're going to, which is this place. And then you will get the long version of what that shortened URL was. And then it will tell you how many clicks it's had. And basically, it gives you an idea who they are. So it's, you can tell if it's you know legit or not. Now. Um, there's another way to check bit.ly links and other shortened links online, which I found was a little better. But this trick is nice because you can add a plus sign and you can see something about it. But the other way to do it is go to a website I found, which I actually researched a ton of websites that check shortened URLs. And I found this one to be the best one. So you're going to go to checkshorturl.com. And then you're going to take that same link you had and you're going to put it in this search engine right here. You're going to click right here and you're going to notice there it is. Don't have any of the HTTPS on it. And then you're going to hit expand. And then once you hit expand, it's going to give us information on this URL. Scroll down and then you're going to see the long version of that URL. It's going to talk about it here. Then if you go down here, it says search long URL on Yahoo, Google, Bing, or Twitter. Now, that's good because if you hit Google, it's going to give you more information on the website. So it's going to give you other places like, oh, this is what they got. They got a page that's done this. So it shows you that they're, they look legit. So what you're going to do is go back, and then you're going to see right here, which is my favorite spot, check if safe on. So they have WebTrust, SiteAdvisor, Google, all these other ones, Norton. So we're going to hit SiteAdvisor just because I found that one the easiest. You click on that. And it's saying the web status is safe. So the report is that this website is safe to check out. So that's the nice thing to do with this website is that it gives you more details and more information than doing the plus sign spot. And you can do this with other shortened URLs like I was talking about. If you look at the top, let's see if we go back one screen, I'll show you. It, right up here, it tells you that it also does these other shortened services for URLs. So this one, this one and this so all these right here and do they do many others but this is a great website to use if you want to make sure those shortened URLs you're seeing before you click on them research them first so it's always important to not click on a link in an email or online without double checking that it's legit so this is how easy it is to safely check bit.ly links and also other shortened URL links Make sure to go to davescomputertips.com. That's where all of our articles are. Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel and tell all your friends about it. And thanks for watching.